what do we have here? Yeah. Suzuki King Quad 750 AXI 4 drive. No, it ain't mine. Sure do wish it was. What's up, guys? Tim, some damn fools. And we are getting ready to get some work done on this King Quad. Doing a snorkel kit, a radiator relocate, and a winch. So, first, we're going to get some sand and dirt and mud and dust off this rascal and uh, tear it apart and get going. So, this will be a step by step. Um, you know, and it'll cut back in and out for anything pertinent. So, uh, wash it off and uh, let's get going. All right, guys. So, it was fun getting that radiator out and pull the racks off, the front fascia, and uh, man, there's a couple plugs on that rascal. It's a pain in the butt. The back plug, guys, you need to pull this uh, clip off here. And so, what's the benefit of radiator, radiator relocate? We all know that runs bike, runs cooler. This is why. You definitely want to do a, a relocate. Now, how good this comes in. But, oh, and howdy. Almost impossible to get to the back side of the radiator. So, Robert, you said it was running hot. Buddy, I believe you. We're going to get her straight, squared away. And, uh, guys, I will pick back up and get a little bit more progress. All right. So she's blowed out. Um, got those cleaned up. Scrub that with a little scrubber. That's a purple power, extreme power degreaser. Got the hoses and everything. Makes it look for a better job. Um, getting ready to go now. Get the hot rims chrome. Hit up that radiator. Make that thing pretty again. We'll keep on going. All right, guys, the hot rims, aluminum wheel cleaner, and the blue bottle. And this is what she looks like. And uh, that is definitely way better than what it was. So I've got these other parts cleaned up. Um, getting ready to get a towel to lay this thing on so it doesn't get dirty. Put it back together and uh, start working on placement. All right, guys, so the relocate is put together, and the sun's probably not going to give it a good look. I want to kind of show it's not bolted in or anything like that. Um, just set the rack back on the rack. What it looks like, you know, sitting on the bike. So, you're going to take it off, get it out of the way so it doesn't get scratched, start pulling plastics, and uh, I think I'm going to run a snorkel next, and then I'll do the the winch after the fact so we get into the snorkel i'll kick back in and uh tell you what i found how i did it and uh yeah stay tuned all right there's the belt box exhaust as you can see oh, that bucket is gone so went up like this blew out the bottom connected to that had this fit in here and turn back so what have I remedied for that all right well, I can get up so the fitting I have is going to go down into the air box turn down on a 90 and kick the hose over under the uh let's go to hose to um kick it over the top of the uh drive shaft and then this is it so that is a uh, ultra black over the top not to get down in the you know you can't get it where it's got to sit here because the big thing is I wanted all of this thing to be able to come apart um, I'm not you know locking him into anything and then this is the rig this is glued and then I put that ultra black just to uh, just to make sure and this area right here is going to slide down onto this and then that'll lock that'll lock that in with another ring turn over and come up over here and so what i figured out is with these 
warrior risers. If I'm right. Let's see. They should bump right up with a quarter inch in between. So pretty much, you know, and I'm not gluing these into this. If it'll have a pipe, there'll be a coupling. I don't like those uh I don't like, you know, so you gotta about a quarter inch back in here, back in here, it's not lined up. It's just put on. So um I, once I get this coming out and all my pipes coming up everything's got to sit right in this area and come up straight so that it clears the, the headlight let's see I think take him up to about right in here actually doing fine he wants to go across Sandy Pond at Cape Fear so essentially I'll have all three of my fittings lined up centered off the, the gooseneck right there and <coughs> be able to get them going so at this point i may start putting the winch mount on the bike um i don't want to get ahead of myself on that aspect and have to go backwards so it looks like curing time the uh air box I'm still curing once this cures around in this area. I'm going to go ahead and put some more ultra black and cover that entire thing um, and ultra black and build it out a little bit. So, giving it another couple hours. It says 24 hour cure time, but I'm sure that's super thin. So, I may not start putting it back again, put together until Thursday. And today it's Tuesday, right around 2 o'clock. So, we'll pick back up. We got some progress. Hopefully, it looks a little different. All right, guys, so I skipped ahead a lot. It is finished. I do not at all recommend <laughs> doing this to a king quad. God almighty damn. Um, it, uh, it has been definitely a pain in the ass. Um, every bit of the fist fittings and the setup for this was custom. Uh, I don't. I don't like it. You know, um, quite a few trips to the hardware store to uh, get everything going. See that white hose right there? That's the belt box exhaust. Um, no choice. To bring it right there. Um, I think it'll be fine. Uh, I brought bought the most heavy duty pool hose they make. For that the most expensive stuff so the radiator relocate was you know, it was a pain in the butt too um pretty much the whole the whole job was um, he wanted his light bar mounted up on the relocate so did that um got his winch going uh let's see he wanted me to take spark arrestor out but i ain't got no impact for those allens they don't have allen impact and it felt like it was going to strip it so didn't get that but uh the other see this is rather good stuff here so um and it is stiff good lord have mercy taking a hammer to heat it up and it still doesn't want to move let's see let you guys hear it run good how this came out um it came out pretty good and uh so yeah um i will never do another one of these in my life good lord it was just it was a fight from beginning to end and then the belt box exhaust this come off the back of the belt box to this which twisted and turned in between the frame then that but it went up and then the exhaust came out this way 
like I say. If you're going to get a king quad and you want to put some snorkels on it, don't. If you got a king quad and you want to put some snorkels on it, don't. And if you think you can bring it to me or that I want to mess with another one, I don't.